Hey guys, Ash here from C4A Tech. Android 4.4.2 KitKat for the Galaxy S4 and Android 5.0.5 has now been officially released. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to manually update. So in case if your region hasn't received the update yet, or if you're rooted, you can update your phone following this tutorial. So keep in mind that this is an official release from Samsung itself, so this will not be tripping any counters, not affecting knocks, so your warranty will be intact. So what's different from updating your phone over the air and updating it manually? This is an official release for Germany, which is the first region to get Android 4.4.2 officially for the i9505. So the difference might be a few pre-installed bloat pair apps, okay? The core functionality, all your Samsung apps, all the functionality will be the same. None of that would differ. As far as languages go, these are the languages that are currently available. So make sure you check that out before you go ahead and flash this. So guys, the prerequisite here is that you need to have a 99505. This works only with this variant, the Snapdragon 600 variant, the LTE variant of the Galaxy S4. And before we get started, make sure you back up all your apps and data. If you're on stock Samsung firmware, it doesn't matter if you're on 4.2 or 4.3 or even the leaked 4.4.2, it doesn't really matter as long as you're, you're on stock Samsung firmware, you will not be losing your apps and data. If you're on a custom ROM, you will be losing your apps and data, but anyway, anybody following this tutorial make sure you back up all your apps and data just to be safe so before you proceed if you want to know what's new with android 4.4.2 on the galaxy s4 well check out my video i have a video explaining what exactly has changed so once you've done that the first thing you do is head on over to the download section in the description and click on link one that will take you to this page download samsung keys install it and once you've installed it, make sure it isn't running in the background, exit it. Clicking on link 2 will take you to this page, download Odin 3v3.09.zip. 3, uh, 3 and clicking on link 3 will take you to this page. So this is the firmware file. I'll also add a few mirrors uh, as and when I can get them. So just download this zip file as well and transfer that to your PC. So I've already installed keys. These are This is link 2. This is what you get from link 3. So now I've right click extract this and right click and extract Odin as well. So guys now let's quickly switch on over to the phone. So right now go ahead turn your Galaxy S4 off. And once the capacitive keys are off hold down volume, power and home at the same time. This will take you to the download mode. So over here, hit volume up to continue. So now, once you see the screen, go ahead, connect your phone to the PC with a micro USB cable. So now back to the PC, Odin 3, double click it, open it. And now click on AP and navigate and navigate to this folder, select this file, the .tar.md5 file, make sure you select that. So I've got it under Galaxy S4 i9505, stock, official 4.4.2, select it. So guys, right now, make sure repartition is unchecked. It will be unchecked by default. Just auto reboot and f.reset time are the only two those are checked. So once you select it for a few seconds, it might seem as if your PC isn't responding, Odin 3 isn't responding, just wait for it. Uh, give it a couple of seconds and it'll be back. So there you go, it's done. So guys, uh, right now go ahead, click start. So as long as you have your drivers installed, that is as long as you've installed keys and keys is not running in the background, this would turn blue and this process would go ahead as you see, uh, see it happening right now. In case you get an error or in case this hasn't turned blue, just make sure that you reboot your PC, reinstall keys, reboot again, and then proceed and it will work. So this will take about 10 minutes to complete. I will be back with you guys once it's done. There you go guys, we are done. So once you see the blue reset over here, we are done with the PC part of this tutorial. So you can close Odin, we are done with the PC. Let's quickly move back to the Galaxy S4. So as you can see, the Galaxy S4 is currently rebooting. 
uh, the, keep in mind the first boot is always going to be longer than your regular boot time so it will finish doing its thing it will boot back up it might take about five minutes to boot back up so don't panic if your phone ends up not booting up for over five minutes it, in which case pull the battery out or hold the power button for about 10 15 seconds till your phone turns off then hold up volume power and home and keep holding it till you see galaxy s4 displayed then let the keys go that will take it your uh, your recovery and from there select wipe data slash factory reset yes you will end up losing your apps and data but then again you can restore it from the backup that you created before you got started with this procedure so guys we're up as you can see all my apps and data have been retained so quickly going into settings accounts so my accounts are, uh, are still here so uh, it's everything's been retained enough going into about device there you go android 4.4.2 git cap so i guess that's pretty much it for this tutorial hope you guys liked it hope you found it useful if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and for more videos like these make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so once again that's pretty much it thanks a lot for watching and i'll catch you guys soon in the next one till then this is ashia from c4e tech signing off you guys have a great day bye bye now